Hi, my name is Bart Barthels, and I'm here with New Life Scientific to show you the inside of an RC5C+. Normally we only give outside shots. Today we wanted to give you more of the inside, what's in it, how it works, and things you should look for. We'll just start with the top. You take the screws out, which we're working on this one, so it's all apart still. And kind of squeeze it out of there. You can see you've got your boards, you've got LEDs. These LEDs are helpful in testing. They tell you voltages um, or various other things, depending what state you're in when you're looking. We'll put this back. Not much to see in there. From the front, you can find at the very bottom, this is the, the biggest problem I find, these uh, brake assemblies. You can see this one's broken right here. This one's not. And I probably can just break it right off. The, it's very, very important that these are replaced on a regular basis with every PM. If they come down and they touch the floor, you've now caused a short and you will cause damage to the instrument. So it's one of those things. We always replace them here, but we always get them in in this state. Some of them we've seen down on the, down on the floor like that, and it causes a whole headache of repairs. For us, not a big deal, but for you, it would be a lot of money. Moving inward, we have our motor cooling fan which shoots up air through here and then right down through this tube there's normally a filter right here which catches any brake dust which you don't want to breathe in. This is another thing you should keep uh, keep track of and replace when needed to keep that brake dust out of the air. It's not good for your lungs, it's not good to breathe in. And of course then inside of this shroud or what they call the silencer assembly you do have your motor and here are the wires coming out. You have different wiring configurations depending on what type of motor you have, two tachometers, one tachometer, the age, it all kind of varies. You have your compressor, it's a big thing. Above it you have the start capacitor and the relay. If we rotate us this way, there's not much on this side of the instrument. You have your your latch assembly. Actually, there is something I do want to focus on before I go too far here. If you ever need to get into your instrument, into your RC5C+, and it's locked out, no power, right back here, and you can get it with the panel off too, or on, you just stick a, a long screwdriver or whatever you have on hand, and you push this in. Once you do that, you're completely unlocked, and you can open your door. Just a little something for you there. Back to the side. We have wiring for the temperature probes. Goes down and up. Uh, you've got your condenser, your fan, just your refrigeration lines. Your power in, power switch. Simple stuff. If we rotate to the back, where all the fun is. Several transformers for different uh, voltages. You've got your power supply, run relays, um, compressor relays, and slow relays. As well as another transformer that at this moment I could not tell you what it does. You do have this transformer down here, does most of your transforming of your main voltage and also uh, for your motor called the uh, resonator. No, I forgot at this point. All right. Rotating back all the way around. Also not much on this side, but you do have your high voltage interface, everything from your microcomputer board up at the top, 
comes to here and then this is what powers your motor and any of the high voltage assemblies. Oh, coming back up, we had to take the door off of this one. This door was damaged, so we had to have it painted and filled in. You can see what your door would look like. Your spring that actually does the springing action of the door coming up. And this is adjustable right here with this little set screw. This is out of place, but normally this would be here. And then the further you push this in, the more springing action you get when the door swings open. And then on the other side, this is just your stop, comes down, hits the pin. If this pin's not in, this part of the door will slam against the top of the deck. And that's most of everything inside of your RC5C Plus. It's very similar for an RC5C, and it's also similar or an RC5B and 5B plus with differences. And one more thing to show you, if you wanted to get your brushes out, you have to take this boot off here You would need to undo this connector. Very important, but keep this off to the side. This is for your imbalance assembly, or your imbalance detector. And then it's one, two, three, and four screws, plus undo the connectors at the bottom. And then you just lift up on the motor and guide the connectors from the bottom. Once you get that out, then you could get to the brushes which will look a little something like that. And you can see this one needed to be replaced. But that's all we have for you here today. So thank you for watching. If you have any questions or you need any help, just give us a call, email. We're always happy to help. Thank you.